Hello everybody, this is Blade Cross EXE, and welcome back to Fake Grand Order's Onigashima event. I believe we finally reached the end here. Final act. Ushi Gozen's true form. The decisive battle. And I actually did manage to beat the 6 million HP one on this. Credit to my buddy's site for the strategy, and it's not at all what I expected. But it's kind of disappointing in hindsight since I could have been doing that the whole time. But because of that, I did manage to clean out the battle point, uh, or the damage point shop. Got all that done, now I just gotta grind for items and trade those in at the shop. So, Caster's, uh, Ushiwakamaru. Yeah, the team that I ended up using was, uh, Double Waver and Jalter, and nothing else mattered. Killed the 6 million, uh, 6 million HP final boss in, like, four turns. Uh, kind of shameful in, in the, in the long run of things. I, I spent so much time grinding on the 3 million when I could have been using the the 6 million one the whole time. And I used up all, I used up all my arts card beans and had to buy more. Ugh, she's so powerful. <laughs> but Jalter can turn her into Swiss cheese. She has to be. She wouldn't be fit to lead the Minamoto clan if she wasn't. But I never expected her to be this strong. She's truly a terrifying demon. I can't find an opening to break through. That woman's been storing up her strength this long? Master, if he keeps up like this, if only we can find some kind of opening. You've held up well so far, but the end is nigh. Feel free to invoke the Soman Shaori charm if you like. It won't save you, but just like praying to the Buddha wouldn't. All right, it's time to finish you all off. Here is your... <laughs> I guess you got so drunk that you forgot, Raiko. Stubborn like insects, you say? The kind of insects that feed on carcasses. That's what we Oni are. And when it comes to being an Oni, none will stand as tall as me. Hello, we uh, Chuten, I mean. Take that! Ugh! Chuten! It's Shuten Doji. She must have been hiding, waiting for a chance. But what about the mortal wound she took? Ugh. How long are you going to be an eyesore? Ugh. This really is too much. Oni don't die, but disappearing. <laughs> See you again, kid. Next time it will be somewhere your meddling mother isn't. Well, I do have you both on my party, but I don't have her, so... That's something. Damn. Damn it all to hell. You're an Oni. You're an enemy. But that damn Oni prime of yours created this opening. I wouldn't be able to call myself a man if I let that go to waste. Fine. I'll see you again in hell, you drunk ogre. We'll finish this off with a bang. Let's do this. This is the home stretch. Come on, boss. This will be our last golden drive. Good night. I freaking love the guy's noble phantasm. I'm just going to run you over with this flaming bike. Got little puny Oni here. Only 45,000. <laughs> You're cute. You're really cute. Yeah, these guys do a lot of damage, even without... Oh, I didn't even have... Okay, okay, see? That, right there. That's what happened. Except, it was just a Noble Phantasm right off the bat. Like, Jalter and Double Waver. 
is just so powerful. I know I didn't have a double here, but Jolter and Double Waver is just so powerful that you don't even need the status boost you get from them just being bonus servants. Zap. Kent, Toki, why? We, we did it. The evil aura is disappearing. Did we win? No more. I'm afraid we might have caused a lot of pain. Yes, of course. <laughs> You're a good boss. But you don't have to worry. After all, I've already done this once before. Kentoki? Then what you're saying is, to eliminate Ushi, Ushi Gozen, we just need to... Yeah, you just need to knock her out. Ushi Gozen and Boss Raiko are the same person. It's impossible to separate them from the start. So, a long time ago, I... stepped into the fight between Boss Raiko and the part she wanted to cut off, Ushi Gozen. I floored Raiko with a blow when she was trying to kill herself. I told her to stop being a dumbass. I even got on my knees, wept, and begged her to stop. The situation back then was much worse, but in the end, it was Ushi Gozen that gave in. She jumped in front of my lightning strike and got knocked out. Like, literally out. That's Ushi Go that Ushi Gozen side never came back. But what about this time? Raiko might wake up and still be Ushi Gozen, right? I know. We can only wait and see what happens. Anyway, this is something like the luck of a draw or a random bet. Ushi Goza comes out when Minamoto no Raiko builds up t too much divine energy inside. You saw how much energy she released, right? Going crazy like that would make even uh, Guzo Tenpo tap out. Uh, where... Where am I? See? Not a single trace of Oni left. Hey boss, wake up! My, if it isn't Kentoki. It's been a long time. How are you doing? A long time? Kentoki, don't tell me she's... She doesn't remember anything about being Ushi Gozen. Not a word of it to her. It'll throw her into a deep blue funk. Oh dear. It seems as if I've caused some trouble. Kentoki and everyone gathered here. Though I don't remember, it's clear what the situation is from the looks of things. My weakness and my wretched nature have surely caused harm to everyone. I know this cannot be excused by just apologizing, but I beg of you, please forgive me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lift up your head, Lord Raiko. A Japanese warrior such as myself will be left struck dumb if you do something like this. Breathe. I must breathe. My, what a cute outfit you have on. Might you also be a Minamoto? Yes. Though for certain reasons I go by my childhood name. I am a relation of yours, Lord Raiko. Well then, how fortunate I am to have my madness subdued by a warrior of the Minamoto family. I feel nothing but shame. As your ancestor, I should be a more shining example to you. No, no, don't say such a thing. Even if you were taken with madness, I have the deepest respect for your valor, Lord Raiko. I, I agree. The elegant way you carry yourself, your formal way of sitting that gives off that glowing aura. I believe we all see that Raiko from before is different from the one now. Oh, everyone, you're so kind to one such as myself. I can see that Kentoki has been blessed with good friends. She's overflowing with motherly love. I can't even sense the, through the screen so much that it's making me sit up straight, you could say. Yes, I wouldn't know myself, but this uh, must be what it feels like to have a mother around. I know. I guess you call it... Magnum... Magnanimity? Well, Raiko's ability to, to comfort is incredible. No matter how rowdy the person is, they will sit up properly and listen to her talk. Well... She's like a bod bodhi Bodhisattva. I don't know how to pronounce that. I see. So this is Minamoto no Raiko's true nature. It wasn't the power of the warrior that bound the four heavenly kings, but the power of peace. No, that was definitely the power of a warrior. Dear me, I'm not worthy to be called the mother. I'm terribly sorry, Kintoki. Don't apologize to me. I'm simply the monkey in this tale. The one in the lead role yeah, this time is the boss here. Oh, so you must be Momotaro, and your name is... You say it's Gabriel? Thank you so much for taking on this... Thank you so much for taking on this danger for another person. I really am terribly sorry for what happened. Uh, 
No trouble at all. It can happen to anybody. No trouble at all. It can happen to anybody. My, it can happen to anybody? The same thing Kentoki said to me that day. You must be very kind, as well as strong. Oh. Gabriel. <laughs> I did get your name right, yes? Uh? Well, it seems that my role here is done. But I'll never forget what you've done. I, Minamoto no Raiko, as head of the Minamoto family, and as a warrior, promise to repay the debt that I owe you. The next time we meet, I shall be your sword. Feel free to use me as one of your servants. I shall obey your orders, no matter what they may be. And yet you didn't come, no matter how many quarts I dropped, or how many tickets I used. Okay, then how about a hug? Master? <laughs> of course, I don't mind. I'll hug you like a mother any time you want. I promise to embrace you. He left. As another Minamoto, there's so many things that I want to talk about. Not like should ever spend time with a country pumpkin such as myself anyway. Hmm? No need to worry about it. You see, Lord Raikyo is actually kinder to country folk. You're a Minamoto, plus you're tiny, so next time you meet, she'll spend all the time you want together. Really? That makes you so happy. Still, I feel she would have the same sweet smile as she drew her sword if she thought you were an insect buzzing around Kentoki. I shall pray that I am mistaken, Namo. Ah, how nice. A hug. Oh, Kotaro, you too? An only related hero spirit drawn to Onigashima. I suppose I fall into that category. How to deal with the monster within? I think now I know the answer. No, well, part of it, at least. I know it wasn't a whole lot of help, but thank you very much, Gabriel. I too would like to lend you a hand, so give me a shout. Rather than working as a ninja in the world of warriors, it's more fun to play the role as a pheasant under you. You see, a bird is free. It's unfortunate that I couldn't shoot beams of light from my beak, but still. Hold on, it's too soon for you to be going back home, ninja boy. I have one final thing I want to ask you. You always took a real humble attitude towards me. Why'd you do that? I don't even remember deserving that. So you really don't know, do you? My clan's village is located at Mount Ashigara. Growing up, I heard a lot of stories about you. Legendary Kintaro of Mount Ashigara. You're, you're the renowned wild child that did the great deeds in his hometown, then wanted to be, have a successful career. Jeez, why didn't you say that sooner? We're from the same mountain? I messed up. Had I known you were my Kohai, I would have tried to act cooler. I'm glad I did. I'm glad to see that you've been raised strong enough. And your noble phantasm has one hell of an awesome name. Thank you. It was an honor to fight alongside you. Until we meet again. I did manage to summon you, actually. <laughs> well, that sells this abnormality. Won't be long before Onigashima disappears. Nice work, everyone. Alright, senpai. Shall we return to Chaldea? We're done with, the, with exterminating the Oni. Oh, that's right. I think it's best that I make this one final announcement. I promise you. Uh, this is it for the exter ex Oni extermination stories. And they lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> so that means no more uh, no more stories about Kentoki or uh, the dojis? I'm okay with that. I'm getting kind of burned out on the raid battles. This one was actually fun because I actually got to keep my points out even if I lost. Oh, holy grail! Yes! Yeah! All right. Okay, sweet. Yeah, he's already level 55, ascended twice. Bond level 5. Oh, hello. Ah. More, uh, more Oni quests. But, yeah, like I said, I have already... I've already cleaned out this whole little bit right here. Every single one. So, pretty much all I got from here is just the rest of the item farming, and then... Just attain the last few Kentokis. And that's all she wrote for the, uh... For the Onigashima event. A lot more enjoyable than Rashomon... 
because, like I said, the freaking raid battles actually kept the damage that I dealt to them. And honestly, I like the story behind this one a lot better. It wasn't just, oh, she's just so strong that she just keeps tanking your damage. No, it's a, it, this one you actually go through multiple bosses and it actually had a really good involved story instead of just standing in one place the whole time. Plus, I personally like this version of Kentoki a lot better than the other one. The other one is just kind of there, but this one is a freaking biker who runs people over with, with this flaming bike with a spiked wheel. Uh, okay, well, that's enough out of me, and that's it for Onigashima, and I did see that Camelot will be releasing soon. I don't know how soon this video is actually going to get up because I'm way behind, but I do know that Camelot will be releasing in North America on June 28th. So, as I said in my little update video, be prepared for some boss battle videos from that, and hopefully the uh, Fate Grand Order Summer event will be coming out soon as well. So, you got some stuff to look forward to after this, and it'll be about a week or so, maybe not quite that long, before we get into the next uh, series of Grand Order videos. Well, this has been Blade Cross EXE, part of Flashing Blades Productions. Thank you all so much for watching, thank you for sticking out with a really long event, and tune in next time when we begin, I believe, Camelot will be coming out before the summer event, so Camelot will be next. Alright, thanks a lot guys, peace out.